Hey everyone, I just wanted to show off how Garmin Connect looks on iOS, in my case an iPhone SE 3, uh, versus on Android, in this case a Samsung S22. Uh, so again, it's the same app, it is of course Garmin Connect. Uh, so it looks for the most part very, very similar, of course it is the same app. So we have like my day down here, you have challenges, you have calendar, newsfeed, and then you have a difference of here is more. Whereas more on this Android is up top here. This is all going to be the same. And then you have inbox on Android down here. Whereas up here is where you have your inbox on iOS. Uh, so they pretty much just, for some reason, decided to switch inbox and the more uh, lines, and the, the triple lines uh, on here says, it just has triple lines on iOS, it says more with dots. Uh, so they switched around the inbox and then the more. I uh, don't know why, but that's what they did. Uh, but otherwise, everything is the same. Uh, you get all the same data, of course, and all the same information. And then another way they are just a little bit different from each other. Back to my day. Uh, I have this run here. Uh, it's the same run, just with one was, it was with the Phoenix 7X. One was with the 6X, seeing how well they did. Uh, in comparison, and you can see there's only 0 0.02 miles off from each other, and it's almost three mile run. Uh, so we'll go into the 2.89 mile run, and again, it's going to look pretty much identical to each other. Uh, so you get a little bit of a map, you get which watch you used, uh, you can view more of your running activities, uh, all the same data. This is all going to be the same, so it turns it sideways on you. And then, of course, you can hit back if you want to as well on here. Uh, but again, going back into the 2.89 one. Uh, another difference, and this is probably the biggest difference, about the only difference on these apps on Android versus iOS. My S22 wants to cooperate. And no, it's not that the S22 does not want to show me the map. Uh, it is the map itself. So again, it looks very similar, uh, except for they are on two different types right now. Uh, so on iOS it just says map, on Android it says default, that's going to be the same style of map. Uh, but you can see they do look a little bit different, actually iOS one does look a bit better, you actually have, uh, this is uh, a lake, or a, it's I guess a lake, they call it a lake. Uh, and then if you have satellite on both of these, which is my favorite one, it looks a lot more detailed, you got a lot more information on it. Again they look very very similar. And then you have hybrid or terrain, which for iOS looks very similar to the uh, the the terrain one or the satellite one. Excuse me. Uh, it gives you some more words and stuff, so it tells you what things are. Uh, this is like that. So there's terrain, there's map. Uh, so we'll go back into satellite on both of these, and I'll show you guys one more difference. If my phones want to cooperate. Uh, so again, this is the satellite one. So again, the same exact run. We'll go zooming into this bit here. So you see how far I zoomed in on that. Aside from me turning it there. That's as far in as you can zoom on iOS. So you see how much closer you can get on the Android, or in this case, my Samsung compared to iOS. So iOS is probably somewhere about here. Uh, and these maps are a little bit different. They're probably taken at different times of the year or something from Google. Um, for some reason they're using you know, something like that. They're probably just two different, a little bit of different maps. It's the same spot, of course. Uh, probably just a little bit different time of year. Uh, but that's a big difference. So that's probably about the only difference in these apps on iOS versus Android is the maps. They're just a little bit different from each other. Uh, so again, you can zoom way in, and then you can kind of see like, oh yeah, I went off the road a little bit there, or whatever. Uh, we're in here, yes, you can see the same thing, just not as close. But otherwise, you still do have your overlays, you have no overlay at all, pace, heart rate, elevation, or run walk. Uh, Bitsy ran and walked, so I'll show that off real fast. I ran most of it, but I did walk a tiny bit because my feet were starting to hurt. Uh, my shoes were kind of killing my feet. Uh, but yeah, so again, you can kind of zoom in. 
a lot more on the Android bit. How useful that is, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on who you are, how in depth you really want to see your run. Um, you can see really how much off the uh, trail I was here, and that is actually legitimate. I was running in the grass instead of on the gravel path. Uh, again, my feet were hurting. Uh, but yeah, so there you guys go. Again, basically the same with just a few minor differences. You all let me know what you think. Uh, I mean, of course, it's the same app, so you get all the same information. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. See you next time. Goodbye.